What's up, everybody? Dr. Thin Matt back here. Uh, doing some uh, work on the four wheeler and need to change the oil, so went to change the oil. And I noticed that when I was checking other stuff, move this thing out of the way, I had something in here that's not supposed to be, it was not supposed to be in here. No, it's not the shirt. Uh, crap down but I had oil all down in the bottom of here and the thing I did when I made the uh, my oil plug or oil fill plug thank you all around here down there that little thing uh, I thought I was low on oil I wasn't, and I ended up adding too much oil to it, and had a whole lot of just oil that came down to here. Apparently, this little sucker right here just spits oil out. I had the filter out. I was cleaning the filter. I was like, you know what? I guess I'm gonna get me a filter and just uh, upgrade that. So, uh, if I can get this thing up here, just bought me a. Canyon filter. I was gonna get the full uh, uh, intake for it, but I, I just didn't want to put out that much money right now on it, which is kind of funny in a way. Uh, then I got thinking, well, I got a filter. What's a filter and an intake, more or less? And you don't have. An exhaust because it breathes in so it needs to blow it out so I just got this in uh, a couple of days ago uh, I wanted the the one that had a uh, this right here that was white and the layers were black I liked how it looked a little better but somewhere it got uh, mixed up and they sent me the blue one, which I mean the exhaust is still going to be exactly the same as if the color was different. But they said they're going to send me another sticker to put on it. But I'm going to go ahead and just put this one on. And uh, when, if it comes in, I'll put it on. It's not really a big, super big deal, but whatever. I just think that the white would have gone better with the white on the four wheeler instead of this blue. But whatever and it, and it is the full exhaust then I got thinking well I got that and the computer in this is probably gonna uh, gonna have to try to compensate for all that and do all that kind of stuff and all of its fancy stuff I got y'all out of frame over here I'm still working with this camera it's a new camera so hold out with me uh, or hang in whatever so, went and bought me the Power Commander here, Power Commander V, or 5, however you want to say it. So, I know it's kind of funny, I didn't want to pay a whole lot for the full uh, intake tubes and all that, but yet I spent just about, well, just over $500 for that. And I think it was 70 something for the filter, roughly high 60s, uh, low 70s, something like that. And it's just uh, about like the factory went away. And then uh, I think it was 300 something dollars for the Power Commander, 330 something, 340 something like that. So. And I spent a little bit of money just to have some fun and to feed my habit. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna I gotta get my my oil done because that was the original thing I needed to get done. So I'm gonna get that done and uh, I'm gonna try to do some uh, before and after on the exhaust on how it's gonna sound. Hopefully this camera will pick it up and it will sound exactly the same as it does, like the way I'm hearing it. 
but I did uh, kind of I drilled out the other side of this that's back in there I drilled the uh, thing out so it's kind of a semi flow through so hopefully I mean at this point it really doesn't matter right anyways I've talked enough so I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna get some stuff done see you in a second I just want to throw this in there. Uh, I'm using the uh, the K N oil filter. I figured I'd try it out. Just a little cartridge filter, nothing real special. Uh, and yeah. And then also the like I showed in the previous clips, uh, the K N oil uh, air air filter. So I guess you could say I'm a kind of a little fan of a. Uh, cane in and the oil filter literally looks exactly like this so for all you OCD people that have to have things like that there you go but I guess I'm gonna get this put on and, uh, and I'll bring y'all right back so see y'all in a second Yeah, this one's really not all that really hard or intense or anything. This has a, a tube down here that just slide this on. Not really all that hard. At least it's not supposed to be. Then just put the washers on and ready to go. At least on this part. It is a tight fit back down here for your hands. I've been I've been debating debating on building a whole new uh, air box and then uh, making a tube to go from the filter to the motor or engine, however y'all want to put that. Yeah, basically, uh, let me get y'all off the. Oh yeah. And for the person who said that I need to get a tripod, I finally got one, so now you can shut up and leave me alone about that. Let's see if I can get y'all off here. There we go. Everything's getting hooked up. But yeah, basically, it just fits on there like that. Nothing really fancy. Just got the screw in the back. Get that out of there. Uh, then I just, just screw it all the way in, and you're done. I don't think it's all we own though. Let me get this thing back off. I'll show you like what I was talking about. It's nice and tight, so I mean that's that's good. How about that? I don't know if y'all can tell in there is a eh, crap. Let me get this whole thing out. <laughs> uh, well, there ain't anything is that thing I got on there for. It's hard to do this with one hand, so. <laughs> oh lordy there we go dropping stuff again tearing stuff up anyways this is what I was telling you about this has this little cone here and if, when if I decide to make a, the box I'm going to have to add this if I want to keep using uh, this one which I probably will. There's really no reason to get a new one if that works good enough. And it's really not be that hard. I can uh, just make everything just have aluminum. These won't be that hard. I don't think I'm gonna need this, but if I do, I'll make it where I can put that uh, a mesh in there, just a stainless steel mesh. And that's not gonna be hard to find. Yeah, this is here. It pretty much just threads down to that, and that's what holds it in. So I'm gonna get this thing in, and I'll bring y'all back, and we'll see how it sounds. Just like with just the the filter on there, cause y'all heard it uh, without it. So see you in a second. I'm thinking it's probably gonna sound about the same. This is only with the filter in. 
still stock exhaust. It's a tiny bit muffled, but it's not that much. And note that I do not have it tuned at all yet. I'm going to wait till after I get the exhaust on, the new one, and uh, the power commander. But I'm going to end up putting the exhaust on next. And then I'll get the power commander because I might take the plastic off anyways for that. So, I guess there's nothing else less left to say, but to get the plastic off and go from there. Well, I got this thing uh, on. I don't have everything bolted down 100% yet. Still got the screw, the nuts up in here I gotta tighten and then uh, I gotta put my springs on here and then tighten those two and then it'll be done. But Right now it's on there and it's actually really uh, solid and stiff. Those are tightened down enough to like where it's, I mean, it'll, it'll leak under ordinary stuff, but just to kind of get a, a hear for it, let me put y'all back on this nice stand I have here. Alright, let's see what this thing sounds like. screws or nuts or whatever in a little bit so but I am actually happy right now of how it sounds I think it looks pretty good get y'all up off the thing here oh there we go yep trying still trying to get used to this this camera but yeah I am getting a little bit of a popping noise from up here but I'm pretty sure that's because it's not uh, bolted down all the way. Uh, oh. She's hot. <laughs> Doesn't look too bad. I can't remember if I already said uh, that they're sending. Me, they're supposed to be sending me another uh, sticker to go on here. I don't know if y'all can see that. No, y'all can't see it. I got smoke coming out of the end of it, but that's to be expected. I really like it. It sounds really good. It sounds exactly what I, how I wanted it to sound. Also, the performance gains from this, I'm told they're supposed to be really good, so we'll find out. If I happen to get everything put on, then what? I'll probably take it out. Of course, I got to move a whole lot of crap out of the way, but I can still get it out. It's just maybe like three inches, like too wide to really fit out the door, which is just crazy. But anyways, I'm gonna get some more stuff done and try to get that thing bolted up and. It's been a pain in the butt really to put it on, not gonna lie, but after I ordered it, I read some reviews on it, and they were saying that, like, installing it, it things just don't fit right and all that, but I'm gonna make something fit. I'm gonna try my best to, like I said, I gotta, get, I gotta tighten those up, put the springs on, then just tighten those two bolts, and... That part will be done, and then we can move on to the uh, 
the power commander. As you see, I did not take the plastic off, but I I think I want to take it off when I do the power commander. I got to go back and look at the, at the directions right in there. So I'm gonna shut up and get stuff tightened down and make sure nothing's gonna be rubbing. That was something they said that uh could occur. So, like I said, I'm going to shut up and let's get back to this. Well, that was a big ordeal than it should have been. <laughs> anyway, it's pretty much got it in. Uh, just got to plug this into the uh, uh, fuel injector. Got everything right here all plugged in to the uh, Dang, I'm just having brain farts today. Throttle positioning sensor. So, got all that. That's plugged up. Don't look too bad. Like I said, still got to plug that in. But the biggest sort of thing was, it came with a tiny ring terminal that it didn't even match even close to that size of that. So I was like, well, I was cut it off and uh, solder one of these on there, take the plastic off. But I got thinking, heck, screw that. I'll just pretty much just. Oh crap, I lost it. Oh, it's like a 10 millimeter, it's like a 10 millimeter socket. You drop it, it's gone. Now you're gonna try to find it. Screw up. Anyways, it had the little fork in it, so I'll let's screw that. So I took the round thing and just forked it. And I forked it in there. And it, so that's it for the ground. I got my, uh, my surface out here. Get this thing going. I don't know if I already had it on or not. Oh, I didn't have it on. But I'm going to get this thing uh, programmed in. Already got everything on here, so shouldn't have any issues. Uh, let's see here. Hang on a second. I can't let y'all see my passwords. <laughs> there we go. somewhere let that be doing its thing there I go around here and get some stuff I'm gonna get this thing uh, all hooked up and I'll be right back well this is the screen that's uh that comes up I'm gonna try not to get in the way of the camera this on a be difficult Over here, I have a. Uh, I don't have my uh, map map position yet. I'm still trying to get back used to this. I had on my on my uh, on my CBR that I had. I had on it and did a little bit with it, and wasn't too hard. But this right here is a new setup. I gotta get used to it again. Uh. I'm not sure if this uh, will self-learn itself. I'm not. I don't think it does. But anyways, I'm gonna try to start this thing, and we'll see what numbers we got right here, just real quick, and go from there. Give me a second here. Get my key. Third thing. I have to hold this thing so it don't fall. Not cutting off. Still 
sounds good though. I'm not gonna lie about that. That's a little uh, looky look at that right now. <clears throat> but I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna find my uh, pre downloaded map that I got and get this thing all nice and tuned up. And hopefully, the thing will work out. Kind of just noticed something. Uh, it says I'm in first gear, but I'm not because it did not go anywhere. So, I don't think it has a thing that tells you what gear you're in. Uh, let me turn this thing back on if I can. I'm in neutral here. But nonetheless, that's just a quick little, well, semi quick little video. So, let me uh, get this thing loaded up and we'll see what we got. Yeah, I got the map uh, loaded in. I think I probably just need just to ride it like a little bit to test that part out. changes to it my shop's getting a little smoky so I think I'm gonna get out of here for a little bit keep the fan on I don't know if y'all saw them sparks coming out of there but anyways I'm gonna try to get let this place air out some and get uh, all the plastic back together we're back on uh, get the power commander back in where it needs to be at the tune is for uh, is, of course is for the the exhaust the whole ex full exhaust uh, and also it's for a open air box but I think I'm gonna mess with that a little bit and See if I can get to where I can keep my uh, my top here on it. Because I, li I like it a lot. I really do. But if I want to get like a little more performance out of it, I'll just take the top off and go from there. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to get this thing uh, put back together and go from there. So I guess I'll see you in just a second. Yeah, this is... Uh before This is after. Yeah, 
like just took this thing out just for like a short little ride just like around the uh, yard here went up and down the uh, driveway and was literally I couldn't believe the difference this thing has made and all this stuff that I've done to it here I'm pretty much speechless I don't mm, my goodness if any of y'all have this uh, a 450 uh, R or a 450X I encourage y'all this setup I have here you will not be disappointed if you have any questions about it go down in the comments down there let me know uh, heck maybe someone else has uh, some input on it too so y'all go down there everybody go down there comment on this and let me know like what y'all think maybe we can help each other out but this thing it's night and day because like before I can get out there and just nail the throttle in first gear and it'll slightly raise the front wheels but this right here I was coming back up the driveway and just nailed it and it was literally like someone just popped the clutch on this thing just the power went straight to the ground four wheels looking straight up at the moon wherever it's at but I'm really happy of how with how this thing came out it came out way better than I ever could have thought it would have came out I still got other things I'm gonna be, do I'm gonna be doing to it uh, a little bit of painting on it uh, let's see I think that's pretty much it it sounds like I like I wanted it to sound I didn't want to have anything that was just mellow I wanted something that actually had that deep grunt to it But anyways, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you hadn't already subscribed, subscribe. And I'm still trying to figure out if I want to do just like some, a whole bunch of riding videos. And do just a small little series of that. Maybe get some other clips of uh, jumps, things like that. I uh, got some other people we can get them in on it too. So, like I said, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Share this video. Maybe it'll inspire somebody else. I'm always wanting to help inspire people because people's inspired me so much. And I just want to pretty much pay it forwards. And this is one way that I feel I can help somebody else. So share this video. It's getting a little dark out here. I won't be able to see too much more. <laughs> I really like the machine cap on the end of this thing. It's still hot by the way. <laughs> and I'm really not too worried about the, the sticker anymore, but just because just the performance that it's, it's giving it. But anyways, like always, y'all take it easy, and may God bless.